Welcome guys, my name is Ricardo Pereira. Today I'm going to show you how to use the advanced Excel module in Mendix. So don't leave and learn Mendix with me. So to start, we need to go to the marketplace and search for advanced Excel. Click in the first one. And as you can see, currently there is no available version of the Mendix 10. So you can also check uh, if there is a, a version available on the tab releases. So if you try to download this version, it will show up an error saying that you should open this module in any version in the range from 9.18 to 9.24. So currently to download this module, you need to create a new project in the version number nine and then export the module and import again on the version number 10. So we can use project to represent this flow. So currently I have here another project, already have the module advanced Excel. So what you need to do is to download from the marketplace and then Right click, export module package, continue exporting, and then you can just click OK. You should do it in an empty project because uh, this module also has some jars and some dependencies. So to get everything clean, you should do it in the empty project. So now you can go to your project, right click, Import module package and click to import. Add as a new module, import, and it's done. Now you can go to security, user rules, administrator, module rules, edit, and then go to the marketplace modules and select advanced Excel and select user. Click OK. Play again. Currently, in this project, I only have one entity called requests. I have three attributes one for the name, status, and request ID. The status have two enumerations, so with the values uh, draft and submitted. And then the access rules is to access everything, so I have permissions to create and delete objects and also read and write in everything so click ok and to start we can create a new microflow call it act request export excel click ok and now we can go to the toolbox that's a retrieve and then from source select from database, click in entity, select request, so range all, XPF empty, and then we can click OK. Now you can select the create action, select entity, search for advanced Excel, click in new, select document type, Click in Generate, and here you can select Excel to 2007 and higher. Click OK. Also change the name of the file, so we can write request dot xlsx, and then click OK. Click OK again. Now you can go to the toolbox scroll down for the advanced Excel area or you can just search for workbook create and drag and drop the microflow here we are going to select the type of the document should be the same that we select before so select xlsx and then you can change the name 
of the the variable the output so workbook type and click okay. now you can go to the toolbox and select workbook at it double click workbook id you can select the workbook type we just create and the sheet name you can click to edit and call it request so first we are going to start by creating some headers uh, for the excel so you can search for cell right by index double click workbook id you can select the workbook type it name should be the same so request and then row should be a zero because we are going to start on the first cell and also column zero for the cell value we are going to write name cell type should be the text and cell format we are going just to leave empty variable name you can change to header name and we are going to do the same for the other attributes so for the status and the request id and duplicate both actions and then on the second one and change the column to one cell value also change to it is and the variable name to header status click ok for the third action you can change the column number to two and then the cell value to request id click ok and change the variable name to header request id so now we are going to get all the information from the request entity so so we can start by creating a new list so drag and drop the create list action click in entity and then search for data could be the data from the advanced excel module double click click ok and then we are going to create two variables one for the column so it should be an integer starting in zero so column for the name and then a second variable for the row and it should start with the value number one the variable name row now we get a loop so we are going to iterate through the, the first list where we have all the information about the request objects so loop type for each iterate over the request list and the loop object name should be iterator request now we are going to create a new object select entity data and here we are going to click in new row we are going to pass the row number m for the column so column and then the value of the request name so cell value the iterator request name click ok now we are going to add this object to the data list 
So change list, select the list, so data list, type add, and then select the new data object. Actually, we can change the name, so new data name. And now we can just add some space, add the loop, and do the same for the status and the request ID. So you can just copy this part. Just drag, go two times. Third time, and then just change on the second create object the name to new data status and also the cell value to status. In this case, because it's a uh, enumeration, you can you cannot get the value like this, so you need to uh, write get caption and then uh, use the value that you want to see so in this case i took the request status and do the same for the request id so cell value request id and because it's auto number you also need to use a function to convert integer to string so to string and then i write a request request id click ok change the object name to new data request id and click ok so at the end we need to add one more action so it's to change variable so drag and drop change variable action Connect with the flow and then select the row and write row plus one. So if we leave like this, you can see we have the column number uh, the same for all the objects. So for the first one, we are going to leave a column uh, value like this because we are getting the value from here so zero but for the second object you need to change so column plus one and then for the third object you can change it for column plus two now you can go back to the toolbox and search for cell right range drag and drop to the microflow work book ID you can select workbook type it name you can write requests data set so it's the list we create before so data list and then the cell format we can just leave here for now okay after this we need to search for workbook Workbook write file. Also drag and drop to the logic. Select again workbook type, Excel file. It's the new X advanced Excel we create at the beginning. And then to finalize, we just need one more action that is workbook close. Drag and drop to the flow and just select the workbook ID. To finish, we can just download file and double click, select the new advanced Excel object. Don't forget to give permissions to this microflow, so go to the security and select user and you can run the project.
click to view app select mx admin password one and as you can see i already have here some information regarding the request so we need to go back the request overview page and just drag and drop the microflow we just create and then run again the project now we have available the button just click and as you can see what generates an, an excel file and it's working as it should be so we have three columns all information about the name status and the request id now we can apply some style to the cell so go back to the microflow go to the begin of the logic go to the toolbox create a new object entity and search for cell format and clicking in new you can see that you have many options here for this example i'm going to select auto fit column so set the value as true but you can try with other uh, attributes now click ok go to the cell right by index and select here cell format new cell format and do the same for the other columns and click to run the project again So we can generate a new Excel file. Click to open. And as you can see, there is a small difference between both files. One have out of it a column and the other no. Thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye.